Hello my dear students of BCom. Welcome to my learning session. My name is Dr. John and I am a faculty of Commerce, Management, Human Rights, Psychology and Economics. For those of you who have enrolled for BCom and have chosen Communicative English at the University of Madras, the session and the ones coming up are going to be very useful. If you're looking for quality learning videos, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and click the like button for yourself and your friends. Learning is fun. Share it and be a part of the learning process. The first lesson is on speaking skills. Speaking skills will help you identify different types of speaking and help you learn how to engage in a conversation or in simple terms how to build a conversation. In the first unit, we shall learn the importance of language. Without language, it's going to be a challenge for us to communicate with one another. Speaking, writing, reading and listening are language skills that we need to acquire. The four skills of language could be broadly classified into two. Receptive skills, which is reading and listening, and productive skills, which is writing and speaking. Receptive skills are indicative of being at the receiving end as a passive contributor to a context or situation. When we read, we process it in our mind. Similarly, when we listen, we hear and process that in our mind to understand it better. On the other hand, speaking and writing are productive skills as you contribute actively in the situation. We structure our thoughts and have them represented into meaningful words for others to understand us. That's very simple to understand, isn't it? Now let's move on to defining speech. At school, we have seen or even participated in elocution competition or have seen our principal speech on many an occasion. For example, our school assembly sessions. We hear their thoughts and put that into structured words for us to have a clear idea about it. Therefore, we could define speech as the ability to represent our thoughts and feelings by sounds that are embedded in words. This is a process that involves three steps, conceptualization, formulation and articulation. Conceptualization stage represents formation of a concept or a thought conceived in the mind. Formulation is next, where the thought or concept is given a form or structure in our mind. And articulation represents using our vocal cords, tongue and mouth to put out words and sounds through a coordinated effort of these faculties. Next is speaking, which is an action. Speaking involves communication with one person or more using speech. Speaking as a skill is considered most desirable while representing ourselves in an interview or in a discussion or in a seminar or even in a gathering, even at home. Communication certainly is key to building relationships, making man a social being in a civilized world. There are three patterns of speaking, interactive, partially interactive and non-interactive. Interactive speaking involves active participation by people involved in a conversation. For example, a telephonic conversation between two people. It could be informal if two family members are involved or formal if it's between a student and professor or a manager and an employee. In a partially interactive session, the speaker or orator plays an active role whereas the audience is only actively involved in listening and contributes less except for occasions where there is a question posed. This kind of interactive session is not very active and therefore classified as partially interactive. Non-interactive sessions are the ones where there is no need for the listener to respond like how we listen to the radio or television. To be an effective speaker, 
you should first be a good listener and then be a quick thinker. Active listening skills enable us to acquire what others are talking about before structuring a meaningful conversation. To be a good speaker, we must first harness good listening skills. A good thinker would seldom use fillers like hmm, ah, well, etc. to fill thinking gaps or fill gaps in a conversation before putting out meaningful words. Good thinkers would not drag a conversation. Instead, their words will be full of essence and will not beat around the bush. The one word for beating around the bush is circumlocute, circumlocution. Let's now have a quick recap. The four basic language skills are listening, speaking, reading, and writing. These four skills are broadly classified into two, receptive and productive. Speech is an act of expressing our thoughts as sounds and words. The process of speaking involves four steps, conceptualization, sorry, uh, the process of speaking involves three steps, conceptualization, formulation, and articulation. Speaking could be classified as informal and formal speaking. There are three types of speaking, interactive, partially interactive, and non-interactive. To be an effective speaker, we should be an active listener and a good thinker. Wow, good. That's all in the session. Please let me know if you have any questions. Use the comment section below. The next lesson, that is lesson two, is on nonverbal communication. Please check out my videos on account 